Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Snapshots. We are kicking off today's action with some nice scout play. Um, I liked the whole uh, replay, and I will probably include it on the channel at a later date, but uh, we are here with Saljan, he's in his ELC, and this is a nice little sequence of play. Um, so, a few episodes ago, we saw uh, Catherine in his... Uh, Chaffee taking on a Yag Tiger 88, and uh, Saljin has uh, got a T28 prototype below him. Now, all that damage that's already been done to the T28 prototype has been a result of Saljin's spotting, but Saljin just decides to school this T28 prototype. <laughs> so, uh, beats his gun traverse. He's just trolling, he's playing around. It's like a cat with a uh, mouse. Just messing around with this T28 prototype, so... A nice little sequence of ELC play, but he's not done yet. He realized that the Indian Panzer, which is a tank he's already spotted a few times, is behind him, so he moves back into cover, and we'll speed it up a little bit. So no shot on this Tiger. I might have gone for a blind shot, maybe, but... Uh, so he decides to advance. Where is this Indian Panzer? Okay, he spotted the Indian Panzer. So uh, not only is it a nice little sequence of uh, scout play, a bit of a uh, fail here. I don't know why it's lagging all of a sudden, but a uh, little bit of a fail. He pops up, spots the Indian Panzer, and now he's just running away. And yeah, okay, he just ran into the back of a leopard. And as a result, uh, takes a shot from uh, the Indian Panzer. But the Indian Panzer's gotten punished. So, uh, Saljan's running away. He's using his speed, he's using his maneuverability. And again, we're gonna speed it up. So the Indian Panzer's come around looking for him. The Indian Panzer is paying for that mistake by taking a pile of damage. So Saljan's off the radar, he's hovering just above, and the Indian Panzer's taken enough damage to make him a one-shot kill, and Saljan takes him out. But I liked that little sequence. There was some nice scout play, outplayed the T-28 prototype, outplayed the Indian Panzer, and there was even a little bit of fail in there as well. But uh, thanks for sending that in, Seljin. So following that scout gameplay, uh, some nice scout gameplay with a little bit of fail thrown in, um, yeah, I've received another replay. Again, some scout ga gameplay uh, with some epicness and some fail thrown in. Uh, this is from MK Dudu from the Isig clan, and uh, he's been in that bush in his uh, 5916, and he's been doing a lot of spotting. Unfortunately, his team haven't been able to hit the tanks he's been spotting. But he, uh, they finally advanced, and he decides to make his move. Now, there are three arty on the enemy team, and timing when to make a move in a scout is really, really important. But uh, MK Dudu has made his uh, move. He spotted the M12, gets a lovely shot on the move. Now he spotted the M4043. Now he spotted the GW Tiger, and now he is causing havoc in among the enemy arty. So he decides to circle this GW Tiger. Uh, okay, he's drowning. He's managed to track himself and he's drowning. Thankfully, he uses a repair kit, gets out of the water with two seconds to spare, and uh, goes back to work, bounces on the GW Tiger. He's auto-aiming, that's why the aim looks a little bit off, but manages to take out the M12. Still an M40 and a GW Tiger here. Oh, and Artie takes out the GW Tiger. We were almost in line for a Bascucci's, uh, so one RT left, and again, MK Dudu is uh, auto-aiming, that's why it looks a little bit weird on the replay. But uh, his driver is dead. And he bounces on the RT. Bounces again, and finally takes him out. So, uh, really, really nicely timed RT run. Um, waited for his tanks to advance, waited till there was a break in the enemy lines, made his run on the enemy RT, got two of them, ki or killed two of them himself, and uh, got the other guy taken out as well, but uh, we have to watch that sequence again. And we're going to watch in half speed, because this needs to be watched again. Oh, he's so tunnel visioned on this GW Tiger, and where's the ground gone? 
Where's the ground gone? Oh, so he's just done 276 damage to himself. He's tracked himself. He's knocked out his driver. He's repaired his tracks. And I know it looks as if he drowned there because it's on half speed and the timer's off. But he gets out with two seconds left. Oh, wow. So we're going to move from some scout action into some heavy action. Uh, this is a game that was sent in by CJC. It's his first ever Kolobanov's medal. Basically a medal you get for standing alone and winning a game against five enemy tanks. However, CJC happens to be in a KV-220, which if you ever wanted a situation where it was five against one when you're top tier, this is it. Uh, he is still on full health. Even though he's been doing some work already, he's gotten a kill. He's on 739 damage. He told his team at the very, very start of this game, please don't rush and die. And what does his team do? Well, they all rushed and died. So uh, he is left standing alone against five enemy tanks in probably the easiest Call of Banov's medal I have ever seen. That's not taking away from the fact it was a wonderful achievement. Uh, there's still a PZ-4C, a M3 Lee, a Hetzer, a T40, and an M37 on the enemy team. Now, all of those tanks can fire HE, they can be using derps, they can penetrate a KV-220, so it's not as easy as I'm making it sound, but really, if you want to be 5 against 1, you want to be in a KV-220 when you're top tier. So, uh, here we go. So CJC's already been uh, exchanging fire with the uh, PZSFL down here to his left, so he knows he's here. That's why he's firing blind. He also knows that the M3 Lee took out his last remaining ally over to the right. So he's uh, kind of focused on both tanks. The Hetzer and the T40 were last seen coming up the 1-2 lines. There's the M3 Lee. And there's the T40. But a uh, couple of nice shots into the M3 Lee. People complain about the accuracy on this tank, but the accuracy isn't bad. The gun on this tank is actually a lot better than people say, but he's taken out the M3 Lee, he's now going for this T40. T40 is taking cover behind a rock. So where is this PZSFL-4C? There he is. So CJC takes him out. It is now one versus three. T40 poke took a shot back into cover. So like I say, there's still a Hetzer around here somewhere and there's still RT. There is the Hetzer. So the Hetzer is not using the derp gun. So gets one shot into the Hetzer. And takes out the Hetzer for kill number four. Meanwhile, this T-40 is not using the derp gun either. The derp, the T-40 is firing AP. So really, it's only Arty that uh, CJC needs to be worried about. But he's moving in on this T-40. Misses a shot. And uh, Artie's going to have to land quite a few shots to kill CJC. So, are they going to play Ringer Ringer Rosies here? Are they just going to constantly drive around these rocks? T40 doesn't realize there's a gap in the rocks. CJC takes him out for kill number five. So, uh, Artie has just hit him for zero damage. But that has given CJC an indication of where Artie is. That shot came from K8. No, don't think you can drive up there. There you go. So CJC is going hunting. One more kill needed for Top Gun. One more kill needed for uh, the Kalabanovs. He drove into the cap circle. All right, um, okay, and CJC is now being capped. 
So is he going to go and stop the enemy RT? Nope. I guess CJC's just going to cap. RT is firing blind into the cap circle. So there are seven, six, five. So, standing alone against five enemy tanks, it's a pity he couldn't have gotten the top gun as well, but uh, there is probably the easiest Kolobanov's medal I have ever seen. But that's not to take away from the achievement. Um, really, really nice end to the game, but really, if you're going to be standing against five enemy tanks, you want to be in a full health KV-220 when you're top tier, and have all the other tanks firing AP. Thanks for sending that in, CJC. So this next snapshot was uh, from a game played on stream. Uh, in fact, the next few snapshots are all from that same stream. Really, really eventful day. But anyway, I'm uh, platooned with Bringy and Beyond. Beyond unfortunately ran into a uh, E50. Um, we're tier sevens in a tier nine game, but we're dominating. And uh, there's an AC46 on the hill above us. He was spotted earlier. And there's a T54 moving up. So we're expecting the T54 to spot him at any moment. Both Bringy and I are pre-aimed on this hill. And uh, this snapshot's going to show you what a difference a split second can make. So uh, this is in real time. Uh, T54 is advancing. Bringy and I are pre-loaded, are pre-aimed on this hill, waiting for this AC to be spotted. There he is. I'm on him, I fire, and I get the kill. But <laughs> that was a one hit point kill. Um, the difference a split second can make. So I've slowed it down to a quarter speed. And uh, this AC is going to be lit up at any moment. And like I say, Bringy and I are both pre-aimed where he was last spotted. There he is. And I immediately swing across. I shoot as soon as my reticule hits the target, but Bringy is a split second faster than I am. Bringy hits him for 819. I hit him for one. Oh, I get the kill, but Bringy did all the damage. So in an earlier game in that very same stream, I'm uh, this time I'm not in a uh, Russian TD. I am in the tier seven. German Premium TD, the E25. I'm getting some spots over here, I'm doing some damage. There's an ELC on the hill behind me, but I'm not too worried, and a Hellcat comes down, and we pre-aim that one beautifully and take him out, but uh, I know that's gotten me spotted, so I'm already reversing, and uh, I know that enemy tanks are probably aiming at me, and there's an ELC coming down after me, so I'm trying to stay safe. Yes, they're missing, but... Um, Anyway, need to relocate, and I notice that this ELC is coming for me, so I'm wondering, who's heavier? An ELC or an E25? Well, considering I did 400 ram damage to him, and he did 87 ram damage to me, I guess the E25 is a little bit heavier. So we're gonna have to slow that down! Clash of the fast mobile tanks! And the E25 wins with just 85 damage done and uh, getting a track damage. Um, that's pretty much it. So a couple of games later, on the same stream, I'm in my M41 and I've got ramming on my mind. I'm actually talking to the viewers right now and I say I'm being flanked. We've lost the other flank. I'm about to be uh, attacked from the left-hand side, but let's just finish off this Wolverine and I'll see if I can get a ram kill. And that's exactly what I do. So I take out the Wolverine. I reverse. I've been spotted, but he's still advancing. Let's go for it. He's hit me once, but I've got the downhill momentum. Oh yeah. I don't know. I was just in a ramming mood, but um, the T-34 wasn't too happy with me. He uh, didn't enjoy that very much, as you could see from chat. Apparently I'm a wanker arty. And uh, not done yet. There we go. Screw you, dipshit. Um, yeah, well, at least I didn't suicide, dude. I always go down fighting when I'm playing arty. And to round up, we are here on mines. We're going to finish with a mega fail. I am in one of my newest toys, the T-54. And again, I'm platoon with Bringy and Beyond. 
from the same stream as all the previous clips, and I'm going to be going up the hill. And I thought for a split second that Bringy and Beyond would be coming with me, but they decide to hang back. So we've got a bat chat, an AMX 1390 and myself going up the hill, and nothing too dangerous, just a Lorraine 40T and an AMX 1390. So uh, I don't spot anything to my right, that's okay, so let's just keep going. And I've just been hit by- what? Just- oh no! Oh, whoa, 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 did you see all those tanks coming up the hill behind me? And there's a bat chat and he's got a full clip and he has just torn me a new one. I've got to get out of here, so uh, let's get down- uh, let's escape down this cliff. Uh, 24 health. Right, so um, yeah. I was not expecting two waves of tanks to come up the hill. Um, spotted the first bunch, chased them up, and uh, nothing was to my right when I glanced. But yet, when I started getting shot, I glanced back and found half the bloody enemy team traveling up the hill after me. Yeah, there's Beyond bumping into me. So, while I let you guys enjoy uh, this fail again from a nice high panoramic view, as you can see, there's nothing to my right. Uh, now there is. Oh, crap. But, uh, yeah, I'd just like to remind you, if you've got any snapshots you'd like to send me or uh, have included in this series, please let me know. Um, send me a message on Twitch with the What Replays link. I even slowed down going down that slope before dying. Um, but yeah, that was probably the biggest fail of the day. Oh, how could I have failed so badly? Um, but yes, please send me some links. What replay links on the uh, Twitch messages? I find it easiest to keep everything organized there. Um, and th I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. Uh, as always, I will see you next time.